insurance plans. Today I'm going to talk about the private plans. Now these plans and the ACA plans, as I told you previously, are really the only two plans that would be considered guaranteed permanent health coverage. If what you are trying to do is protect yourself in the event of something catastrophic to protect not only not only to guarantee that you would get um, care, but also to protect your assets, these two types of plans, this and the ACA, would be the only ones that you really should consider. Um, they tend to be about half of what the base cost is for the ACA plan. The reason for that is because they are underwritten plans. When we talked before, I told you that they used to do underwriting and group people together who are in this, the same class of health. So with these plans, they, you generally need to be in pretty good health to get the type of plan, but as a result, you're a group with other healthy people. They use the power in numbers to reduce the rates, and so you get a great rate. Um, a lot of these plans will exclude people who have a history of diabetes, cancer within the last 10 years, stroke, heart attack, heart issues, liver and kidney disease, um, as well as being under the care of a psychiatrist or having some type of drug or alcohol problem. Um, but for those who can qualify, this is a great alternative to get excellent coverage at a much reduced cost if you don't qualify for the um, premium tax credits through the Affordable Care Act. Hope that helps, and have a wonderful day. I'll talk with you again soon on something new.